It's drawn very, very wide. Not a bad idea. Blue collar boys back behind them. So the race at Dabo on Tuesday, Warren on Friday out in this area. Both TAB meetings now. Blue collar boys coming up. They're almost set to go for the Robert Oatley. Mudgy Cup. Stand by. Red lights on. Racing now, not a bad idea. Began well, ready to humble, getting through along the rails in the early stages. Restrained out wide was highly desired. Rule the world and Brother Bassey both going up to be in the leading division. 1A being passed by High Court on the inside, not negotiating. Then came Go Gazer and Blue Collar Boy is last. So they raced down the back and highly desired. Is caught out pretty deep. Brother Bassey's with it in the centre. And over on the rails was not a bad idea. Ready to humble just behind them. High court on the rails. Followed by Rule the World. 1A is going up through the centre. Not negotiating was next. Then Blue Collar Boy and Go Gazer is last in a fairly tight and compact field. Highly desired. Found its own way in front as they came down with about uh, 6.50 left to go, not a bad idea, ready to humble, both staying to work into the race as they come down the side now, high quarters bottled away on the fence, Brother Bass is up there still running about fourth at the moment, uh, then they, as they race towards the home turn, uh, getting well back now, uh, was not negotiating a long way off them and rule the world as they come up around the home turn and uh, not a bad idea being tackled now by highly desired out in the centre, not negotiating he's getting a rails run, high court. 1A starting to put in a run down the outside and then ready to humble. It is not a bad idea. Not negotiating. 1A on the outside. Not negotiating. 1A comes out and not negotiating. Not negotiating. 1A's a length and a half away but not negotiating. Beats 1A. Not a bad idea. Third high court fourth. Then came highly desired. Ready to humble. Go Gaza. Blue collar boy. Rule the world and brother Bassey. Not negotiating. I think at one stage this horse was sold for about $600. And Ashley Stanley's ridden a, a treat for her dad, Peter W. Stanley, himself a jockey uh, of years gone by. And uh, I remember Peter Stanley, he was a country jockey, but he won a race 